Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Just a quick one today. I'm working on this uh, 2008 BMW X5. Now, I'm doing a bunch of other jobs as well, but in this video, I want to talk about a pretty common issue on these cars, and that is when you go to apply the washer jet for the front windscreen, you're getting no fluid out whatsoever. Now, I've kind of skipped a few steps, but I will show you exactly what I've done. So essentially right now we are getting fluid to the washer jet, but that's as far as it goes. We're not getting fluid out of the washer jet. So essentially what I've done is just disconnected the washer jet from the hose. I also done that one as well. I gave it all a good uh, blow through and that is how I managed to uh, unblock the filters in the washer fluid reservoir. So for those of you who don't know, the washer fluid reservoir is located uh, behind this wheel arch liner here and it is a massive pain to get to. Usually you would just have to um, you know, pop the wheel arch liner out and you can access it that way but there's really not a whole lot of access on these X5s, so you end up having to take the uh, side skirt off, having to pop the wing out and take the wheel off, get it all up in the air and everything, and that's how you can physically access the small screen filters on the end of the pumps. Obviously there'll be two or three pumps, depending on whether or not you have uh, the headlight washer jets. This car doesn't, so it just has one for the rear and then one for the front windscreen. But yeah, let me just go ahead and show you exactly what I've done to get fluid to the washer jet, and then I'll go into what I'm attempting to do to get the fluid through the washer jets. So essentially what I've been doing is continuously filling the washer fluid reservoir with just regular water. And once that's filled, I've then been getting some compressed air. And just inserting it on the end of the washer fluid hose and then blowing through. And you'd be surprised actually how much force this creates. That's how it's all coming out of the reservoir neck itself. It's not so much now, but the first few times that I'd done this, there was so much debris and dirt just coming out of here. And that is obviously, of course, what blocks up the uh, washer pump filters themselves. That is what you're trying to clean because if those filters are completely blocked, you're not gonna get any fluid through. So my, in my opinion, if you want to you know, clean those filters without having to go through all the trouble of stripping like pretty much half of the car down. This is the best way. Just remove the hose off of the washer jet, blow through with compressed air, and then keep refilling with uh, regular water and then repeating the process until you are getting, um, you know, nice clean fluid to the wash jets themselves. Now, once you have water to the washer jets themselves, you're probably going to notice that the washer jet itself is blocked. And that is because the washer jet actually has its own screen filter in as well. And that looks like this, as you can see, completely filled with dirt. This just slides in there. So I'm gonna give this a good clean. I'm also gonna blow this through with some compressed air. I'm also gonna do the same with the other washer jet as well. And then I can reinstall this in back on the car. And hopefully, we have some success. Okay, so I'm beginning cleaning this piece here. This is not a filter, this is just a piece of rubber, I guess, to you know hold this in place, but have a look. This is completely just blocked up. You can see why fluid is not getting through there. Okay, so I've gone as far as humanly possible. This part here is now nice and clean. I blew it through with compressed air, I've cleaned it out with brake cleaner. There's no dirt now left in this. This little piece of rubber, that's now nice and clean as well. And then I've also blown through the jet itself and that is having compressed air through, so it should be now nice and clean. Let's get this reassembled. Let's get it on the car. 
Let's test it out. Okay then, so washer jet reinstalled, moment of truth. There it goes, of course, before we had absolutely nothing. Then we're in business. So that one is now fully working. And that's just gonna be a case of doing the exact same to the other side. So just remove the washer jet disassemble it, give it a good clean out, and hopefully we then should have two washer jets working. Okay then, so there we go. I guess this has been pretty successful. If you notice that one or two of your washer jets on your BMW, especially your BMW X5, are not working, there is a good chance that the pump, the filter on the pump itself inside of the washer fluid reservoir is blocked up you know, uh, once uh, washer fluid sits for a long time, it seems to gum up and those filters get completely uh, blocked. I mean, the best thing that you can do, like I said, is remove the pump itself and then clean out the uh, filter physically. But especially on the X5, it is a massive pain. It's like a lot of work just to get to that pump. But you know, you're probably gonna spend the best part of a day just stripping down the car to even get to it. So. You know, the next best thing, if you don't want to go through all that trouble, is literally just to remove one of the uh, washer uh, hoses and then just blow some compressed air through. That should all then come out of the, um, out of the reservoir. Just keep doing that, filling it up with fresh water, you know, blowing the air through, filling it up, and hopefully you should get rid of all that junk in there. And um, yeah, once you know that you have then uh, fluid uh, at a good rate to the uh, washer jets themselves, if it's still not coming through the washer jets and obviously disassemble them, remove them, disassemble them uh, like I've done, clean them out, and then hopefully you then should have uh, a nice uh, steady stream of washer fluid onto your windscreen. But yeah, uh, I don't know if anybody else has made uh, a video like this or similar to this, um, but yeah, this has worked for me, so hopefully it can work for you as well. I want to thank all of you for watching. Please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so. I'll see you all in the next one.